Astrehu by Imploding Colon, read by Deathlight. Chapter 61, Flood. Astro and the prisoners gasped as the entire floor of the prison cell jolted. Rockspot trembled and clung to his father. Outside, through the wooden bars of the door, shouting minotaurs were running hurriedly towards the front of the cave as the entire tunnel shook around them. What, what did she do? Stammered a Winthrow mare. Did she have gunpowder? Another exclaimed. Calm down, everypony. Astral said. I'm sure she's doing everything in her power to get the Minotaurs out of here. Take a look for yourself. The tunnel's practically. Just then, the door flung open, and a frazzled, sweating rainbow dash stood in the frame. <sighs> Hi, guys. She grinned wide and shook a hoof. Don't fear, I've come too! A wave of water hit her. She fell over, rolling through a two-foot current of rushing liquid. The sloshing waves rose higher and higher as it bathed every square inch of the tunnel floor, eventually pouring into the prison cell itself. The ponies trotted back, gasping. Several exchanged and worried looks. When the sun got us his name? Was this your distraction? As for us, she doomed us all. I have not. Rainbow spat and coughed out some liquid. Dimmed us all. We're still going with the same plan as before. Now only we've got... She glanced down at the flowing water around her hooves. You know, do it a little quicker. Easier for you to say, you've got wings. Will you stop complaining? Rockspot's father shouted at the others. She's the only pony who bothered rescue her neck by coming this far. Let's get out now that she's given us the chance. Yes. I shall nod it fervently. If this hasn't distracted the Minotaurs, I don't know what will. Hurry, if you pony, we need to make it to the far end of the tunnel. Here, son. Rockspot's father squatted down so that the folk could hop up on his back. Grab a hold, don't let go. Don't worry, Daddy. Is Miss Dash coming with us? Heck yeah. Rimbadash held the door open as the ponies filed out. There were easily two dozen of them in total. It was a thick group, and their bodies shivered with fear and panic. There's no party like a prison break party. <laughs> Out of earshot from Rockspa, she turned and whispered to Astro. There's only six of you left, right? Correct. Astro said, already leading the group hurriedly down the corridor. They have to be further down the tunnels. Great. Rainbow Sword passed him. I'll fly ahead and scout up for any remaining minotaurs. You've got the chaos strips from Thunderhorn, right? Rainbow flew into a metal crane. She winced in mid-air, then kicked and thrashed at the equipment. Dang it all, the Nightmare Moon's bridal stains! Arrgh! She spun and blurred like a rocket towards the mouth of the cave. I knew I freaking forgot something! Be quick about it! Astro shouted, using his weak magic to fend out the water rushing behind the group as they waded desperately into the darkness. I don't have the strength to protect the group all by my lonesome. Right, I'm the hero of the hour. Got it. Rainbow Dash's voice echoed back as she flew back into the sunlight over the roaring waves of water. She snarled to herself. Dang it, dang it, dang it! I swear, my life turned into some stupid story written by an idiot and fast forward. With a murderous growl, she flew into the fray of the quarry.